Yeah, hello guys. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on uh, the harvester. The harvester is a tool in Kali Linux used for information gathering uh, or reconnaissance. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to tell you how I'm going to use the harvester to get uh, to get the subdomains and IP addresses of those subdomains and email addresses of any website or any target at all. Uh, to do that, first of all, we are going to open this terminal where we are going to be running our command lines. Click on the terminal. Uh, wait for it to open. Yes, the terminal is already up with the root. Uh, we will now enter the harvester. Harvester and click enter. Uh, when we do that, we wait for a while for the harvester to come up. Waiting. Yes, the harvester is up. You might want to get yourself very acquainted with these commands because this is what we're going to be using. These commands here are what we're going to use to query the harvester. The D stands for domain or the name of the domain or the company you are searching for. For example, you want to use google.com or facebook.com to get all the subdomains and email address associated with that particular domain. While the B is the source. As you're running your query, is it from Google that you wanted to search, or from um, Bing, or any other search engine, or PGP, or LinkedIn, and all of that? I'm going to be concentrating basically on the ones I'm going to be using. You can do yourself good to go over all of this. The limit is the number of results to work with. We will tell the harvester the number of results to work with. We don't want it searching for a long time. We just want it to search within a specific time. To do so, we enter the harvester query. We enter the harvester. We enter the harvester. Now we are using D, D for the name of the domain. So what are we querying? We are querying Google.com. Uh, or let's let's use Facebook. Facebook. Facebook.com. Now we want to limit our search to just 300. And this B represents from where is our search, the source of our search. We want to search, is it only Google, or is it PGP, or LinkedIn? But in this, in this tutorial, we're going to be running the whole search engines. So for that reason, we'll say all. Then we'll hit the enter command and allow the harvester to process all of this. You can see it's already running search on Google. It's running the search on Google already. We'll wait for it to load. taking a bit of a time but we need to be more patient with this as it's going to query the whole that uh, search engines to bring out result for us
are still waiting as the query is running. Yes. Uh, so far, we have gotten uh, friendship at facebook.com. It's an email. We've gotten Alice Joel at uh, Kowalix at uh, dot one four two eight at facebook.com. Uh, it's also resolving the host and IP addresses of uh, the subdomains that we're looking for. Very soon, it's going to be out. And we're going to take a look at all the subdomains that are associated with Facebook. Yes, the four domains are up with the IP address is app.facebook.com. Look at the IP address. When you load this IP address on the URL, you will get just this. Uh, this is developer at facebook.com. This is facebook.facebook.com, touch.facebook.com. These are all the, uh, the subdomains with the IP addresses associated with Facebook. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Please endeavor to subscribe. Thank you so much.